Hello there, in this video I'll show you how to create this composition with four dynamic interactive segments controlled with a single null property, all done in After Effects with no third-party plugins. So let's get started. So first let's create a new composition, let's make it 1920 by 1080 and let's make it 10 seconds long and let's call it four segments. Then we're gonna create a text layer or whatever actually you want to put in your first top left layer composition. Um, if it's going to be an image, if it's going to be a graphic illustration, obviously you're going to put that graphic and an illustration. But for now, I'm going to use the simple one through three texts as shown in the example. And for this one, I'm using the font impact. And let's just make sure to play around with this horizontally scale property of the text and just fit it um, kind of almost from edge to the edge of the composition. Then let's add this color palette on top just so that I have it as a reference. This is a color palette that I think will really look nice for, for this type of um, graphic. And next let's create a new solid. And let's take one solid, one color from this color palette. Let's go with the medium gray royal blue solid for starters. And let's put it behind the text one. And now let's pre-compose these two layers and let's just call them top left one. And let's do the same thing for all the other ones. So let's just call this one two. Let's just um, align it to the middle. And for this one, we're going to have to decrease the, the horizontally scale property maybe move it a bit. And for this one, let's also create a new solid layer and let's make it this um, medium gray red brick kind of color as a background. And let's pre-compose it as well. Let's call it top right two. Next, let's create a text for three. Let's align it and fix the horizontally scale and add another solid. Let's make this one dark orange. Pre-compose bottom left three. And now let's go for the final one. And that is four. And let's align it and stretch it out so that it fits the composition. And for that one, let's use this pale orange solid color, but we are gonna have to change the color of the four letters and let's just make it a nice dark gray, warm gray color. This works and let's pre-compose everything and call it bottom right four. We can now enable all of these previous layers and let's hide the color palette for now. And just for illustration, let's decrease the scale of all of these four pre-compositions to 50 for now. And let's just put each one of them in their correct places. Now for these four compositions to interact with each other without us actually animating them separately, we're gonna have to create a new null object and we're gonna control them by changing this null object's position. So we need to find a way to connect this middle point where these four compositions meet and connect them to this nulls position property and have that middle point move together with the null object. So the best way to do that is by actually using some expressions on the scale property of all of these pre-compositions because if you think about it we are actually going to be manipulating the scale property of all of them as we move the null around. And while we're doing that, the only point that actually is gonna be a constant for all of these four composition is gonna be their corners. So the, uh, for, for this composition number one, it's gonna be this corner that's never gonna actually move in theory. So we're gonna have to put the anchor point of this composition to that corner. So just move it to the top left corner. We're gonna do that for all of the other four compositions. So for the composition number two, we're gonna put the anchor point in the top right corner. I also have this great motion tools plugin that I use, it's free. You can click the link in the description below to get this plugin for free. And it has this great automatic um, one-click anchor point setting that you can just 
basically click on the composition or any object that you want to modify its uh, anchor point and just you can move it around with one click you can put it in the middle but we want to put it in the bottom left corner for this composition and for composition number four we, we want to put it in the bottom right corner all right so and now you can see when uh, we are gonna manipulate the scale property each one of these is actually gonna stay in their correct corner as they increase or decrease in size now the next and the most important part of this project is going to be to actually link these scale properties to the position property of this null and the only way to do that is by using the expressions now we all love expressions don't we if you don't want to deal with them actually you can just download this project that i'm going to link in my description and save yourself from the trouble of doing this so to start let's actually right click on the position property of this null object and let's separate these dimensions and let's work on the top left composition or this number one composition so hold alt and click on this stopwatch next to the scale property and you would take this expression pick whip and drag it up to the x position now you can see that it automatically created this expression that has this temp value that's going to be linked to the x position of this null one object and the expression is going to use that temp value to set the both of the scale properties for r1 precomp now we don't actually want to do that we actually want to have two separate values that are going to be x and y positions so let's just change this temp to temp x and let's change this other temp to temp y but first we need to add the temp y as a variable in this expression and pick whip the y position of the null object for that temp y value now you can see that the scale values are exact as the x and y position values we actually want them to relate to these positions but not be the exact same numbers we kind of want them to be the percentages of these positions and that's why we are going to have to divide both of these values by the actual composition width in my case well, that's going to be 1920 for the x position and it's going to be 1080 for the y position but as i said it has to be a percentage value of these values in relation to the whole composition so we are going to have to multiply by y 100 each one of these values and right now you can see that the comp one is in its place and it's actually going to relate to this null object as we move it we are going to have to do the same thing for all of these four compositions but the formulas are not going to be the exact same so if we, we do it for the top right composition and copy this whole expression um, a funny thing is going to happen where it's going to actually go in the opposite direction because the x value should actually increase as we move the null object to the left and as the x position gets smaller and smaller that is why we're gonna have to manipulate this temp x variable where we are gonna have to subtract this value from 100 being the whole percentage and that way it's actually gonna work as it's supposed to for this bottom left we're gonna use the same expression but for this one, we are going to have to subtract this value on the temp y variable from 100, meaning 100 minus this value is going to be the temp y. And if we give it a test, it works perfectly. And the last one is going to be number four or the bottom right one. And for the bottom right one, we are actually going to have to subtract the values from 100 on both the axes. And when we do that, it's going to be perfect. So as you can see, this is the main composition that's going to be the base for everything that you do with these four sub compositions uh, that are in a way interactive and dynamically uh, increase and decrease in their sizes as you move this one null object so for a quick demonstration let's just open up the x and y properties let's keyframe them and let's move the null to the bottom right corner and then let's show the two the number two by putting it in the middle we can use the exact number we need then we can reveal the three and four and 
this way and in the end we can we can enlarge the four and just have it come back in the middle by resetting these values to its default position we can ease these keyframes you can play around with the graph editor obviously to add some more some more interesting movement and that is it you can see how simply and quickly we created this very robust composition that you can use for all sorts of projects obviously stylizing these layers playing around with different colors shapes illustrations is gonna create a really nice look is gonna create a really interesting four segment composition that you can use for so many different projects and animation types so once again if you want to download this project for free click the link in the description below i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i will be happy Happy to see you in the next one. Goodbye.